I wrote the book, uh, The Engaged Leader, because I keep coming across executives who are very interested in, in having a digital transformation of their organizations, go out and engage with customers, engage with employees, but they themselves don't do this. Leaders themselves see their employees getting engaged with these tools, especially with some of the new collaboration enterprise social networks. And the leaders are stepping back and going, what happens if I engage? Because if I start going out there, will my authority be lessened because I'm more accessible? Uh, and they worry about the power distance being squeezed and, and running into too much time or setting expectations that they're going to have to engage with everybody who engages them. They really want to know, how do I engage? When do I engage? What's my strategy? And I think that's the key. These leaders need to have a strategy of what they will do and won't do in terms of listening, sharing content, and engaging. And people can tell the difference, whether it's the leader saying this or it's some team behind them. If the team is really good and they're totally in sync, they can absolutely support them. But I think in the end, you really do have to take a personal interest and a personal desire to engage. I think leaders now really have the pressure to have to go out there and start engaging. They are telling everybody else to do it, and what's at stake is their credibility. They begin looking like a hypocrite if they don't do this themselves. So as these organizations get pushed into a digital transformation, these leaders have to go through a digital transformation themselves. And we'll see it manifesting in that more and more leaders will become more active, again, internally and also externally. For leaders who are trying to figure out how do they begin, I think the first thing they have to do is figure out what their goals are and then how they want to measure those goals. And again, measurement could be like just a feeling that I'm accomplishing these goals and moving forward on them. And many of times they're related to based on relationships. But uh, there are three things. The first and most important thing is determining who you can listen to with these digital tools. They're out there. These customers and employees are engaging. And at the minimum, what you should do is listen to what they're saying. Use the tools that are available and readily available for you to be able to listen to what they're saying. So if you'd like to learn more about me, Charlene Lee, and my book, The Engaged Leader, you can go to my site, charlenelee.com. That's C-H-A-R-L-E-N-E-L-I.com. And there you'll be able to find information about the book and more about me.